There are many terms that are used in the management of greenhouse gases and climate change, especially terms that you will hear at the COP26 summit in Glasgow in early November 2021 and its aftermath. However, these terms are not always explained clearly. Let's take a look at one term, global stocktake, and look at what it means and what we can expect at COP26 and beyond. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at one of the terms that is used in climate change management and that is widely used in the COP26, which is the Global Climate Change Summit taking place in Glasgow from the 1st to the 12th of November in 2021. The global stock take is a new feature of the intergovernmental negotiations carried out under the UN FCCC process. Negotiations on various items dealing with different aspects of the global stock take are covered in the Convention, the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Agreement are currently ongoing under the negotiating bodies within UNFCCC. The Global Stock Take, or GST, of the Paris Agreement is a process for taking stock of the implementation of the Paris Agreement, with the aim to assess the world's collective progress towards achieving the purpose of the agreement and its long-term goals. The first global stock take will take place from 2021 to 2023 and the process will be repeated every five years thereafter. If you're getting value out of this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. The global stock take will be a comprehensive and facilitative process to assess the collective progress on the following thematic areas. Mitigation, adaptation and finance flows and the means and implementation and support of the Paris Agreement. The global stock take considers the efforts on the social and economic consequences of the climate change actions, taking into account considerations such as equality and will make use of the best available science. The outcome of the global stock take will inform countries on updating and enhancing their nationally determined contributions or NDCs, their climate actions and support, as well as enhancing international cooperation for climate action. For more about the content of nationally determined contributions, please click on the link here. COP26 will be at the near start of the global stock take process. In the diagram, the timelines of the three components of the first global stock take, information collection and preparation will take place in late 2021 towards 2023, technical assessment spanning similar timescales and with consideration of the outputs as well as its inputs in the mandated activities for COP28 in 2023. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of the global stock take within the COP26 meetings, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.